Wolfman Lewis, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are, another episode of the R.D. Wolf Road to the Show, right here on MLB The Show 23. If you missed any of the other episodes, they're available on the channel in the playlist. You saw it at the beginning of the episode. Only nine games from the wild card. Nine games back from the wild card. If we could just win nine games and keep that nine games going, we may be in the running for the wild card. So two down, stepping in the long ball threat, R.D. Wolf. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. And fouled off. Look out, that ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines just ensure safety for the fans last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit and that one fouled off and a pitch hit hard base hit well singing he's blocked in First so to a board and two out scoreless game. Paul Schnell digging in for the Nationals. Going to walk him or is he going to take a strike? Here's a 3-0. And he walked him. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Bases are loaded. Bases full. Let me Diaz now. In the air, out towards left center he's got it and that is that three now the batter now starling Marte. starling Marte. and that one lifted in the air center field wolf puts it away for the out and there's one down now, here is Richard Irabu. In the air to left center. Wolf under this one. Puts it away for the out. Man at first, R.D. Wolf now at the plate. One for one with a single so far. Slapped foul. Wool patrolling center field, batting in the cleanup spot, and he's driven in double digit runs over his last 10 games. On the ground, a short could be two to second for one. Over to Alonzo, double play. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And off the base of the wall. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate. For Here's Francisco Lindor. 0 for 1 so far. The 1-2. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Play at the plate, and they cut him down. Good job. A lot of real estate. Two to one. Marte. One, two now. Into center. Wolf has this one sized up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Welcome back, top six. And now up for Washington, R.D. Wolf. The pitch. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. So R.D. is aboard here. The leadoff well, man. Well, he is locked in there. That's right. 
Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. That's right. Got him swinging. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. That one ran inside, almost got him. Wolf leads off first with one away. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Bro cut off, now to the plate. The tag out. The so RG should have held up there, but he did not. He was going. He was doing what the third base coach told him to do. Francisco Lindor. Out towards left center. Lindor retire. And a quick out number one. So two down. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder. R.D. Wolf. That one ripped. Back there. What do you get? A free bowl of soup with that home run? An absolute blast to left. His 22nd homer of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 3 1. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I could feel that swing from the booth. So RD does it again. With this kind of it took him a little bit, but he got one. And that one's around, out of here. Work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or. This is why they turn so the Nats the take it. games. He's so reliable in these spots, and he just the proved Nats it for take the it. RG goes three season. for four. Nice job getting it done out of they the take pen. Take it three to one. Final, three one. So three for one. It's RG and takes our it. entire outstanding crew for here RG at MLB indeed. the Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Next to hit for the Nats, R.D. Wolf. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. Pulled down the line, this one hammered, but it's foul. In May of 2021, Max Scherzer threw a complete game as his wife went into labor with their third child. Game finished, two hours, 37 minutes. Runner on the goal. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. What do you get, a free bowl of soup with that home run? He'll touch them all. His 23rd of the year, it's 2-0. That adds another game to his hitting streak, Chris. Yeah, he's been doing so many things well at the plate and clearly driving the ball with some authority as part of that. He's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body. Bottom of the first. Starling Marte up to hit. Out towards right center field. Wolf glides to his left. And it's caught for the out. Alex Call up now for the Mets. Savali back to work. That one is absolutely belted. This one's got a chance. And it's off the wall. Safely into third with a leadoff triple. He was all over that one. Put him out of the fourth. Here's a big power threat. R.D. Wolf. The wind of the pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one's back on the warning track and hauls it in. 
almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch, man. Run around at first with one gone. So now, RG got Wolf. robbed on that one, He's folks. already homered in this game. Ripped to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 7-1. So 24 home runs on the year for RD as he rips another one. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's 414, 109.7 exit now velocity on the star it. cast. Back here in Queens, Daniel Vogel back at the plate. Left hand hitter waits. And that one in the air center field. Wolf in position. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Runner at first with two away. R.D. Wolf digging in for the Nationals. And first offering is fouled off. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Back up the middle and a base hit. So 7-5, top of the seventh, and R.D. gets a base hit. Now and now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Up the middle. They get the force out number three. The number seven and the Nats is win it. cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck and there's been some really good play. I think you get to this point, you start to look at, can we double that? Make it double digits, make it two touchdowns, make it 14. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. One down, and now the center fielder, R.D. Wolf, blasted two home runs in last night's game. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Senga, the former rookie of the year, he features a four-seam fastball, a fork ball, a cutter, and he works in a slider. Right side, and that's just foul. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the 2 See the graphic up there, folks. 18 RBIs for RD. Face hit. Right, 18 RBIs hit. in four Quick games back in. for RD. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. And here's the DH for Washington. Freddie Carvajal. Ninth in the NL in home runs. The pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for... Two outs, runner on first. Pete Alonzo up now for the Mets. One of the best RBI guys in the game this year. Right now second in the NL. Wolf under it. Makes the grab. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Now here's the switch inning power threat. R.D. Wolf. Senga back to work. Lined, and that's a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. Nimmo quickly gets it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for well, the first Singy, run of the ball game. There. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. 
Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Freddie Carvajal. He's 0 for 1. Here comes the 0 1. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Irabu calls it in, and there's one away. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync, and the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Man at second with one away. Oledmis Diaz digging in for the Nationals. Lindor jumps, throws, out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Here's Royce Lewis, and he's already singled in this game. At the belt and fires. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So one left for one. So two down. Now at the plate, R.D. Wolf. So top of the six, still no score. But now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful. R.D. When you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and uh, these type of home run totals. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And a 1-1. There's a high chopper, Baden. Gathers and throws to first. Third out. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Bottom of the eighth, still no score. Out there to center. Nice grab on the run. Two away. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the center fielder, R.D. Wolf. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Way strike two on R.D. two. Well, we can see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so that those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. Foul ball still 0-2. Right Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. Homer number 25 of the year. The Nationals strike first. It's 1-0. So R.D. gets the Nats on the board. It breaks this tie of 0-0. He breaks it. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. First and second, one out. Up now for Washington. R.D. Wolf. Three to two in He's the top of the tent. This one. Here we go. That one ripped right center field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags and goes to third. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's and the Nats oh, win again. Win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. But well, the Nats Three win it. to the final score, and the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here in so the Nats are on a tear, folks. The Nats are on a tear. So we will take a look real quick. We will take a look real quick if we may. As soon as we get back into the Locker. The skipper appeals to his players to demonstrate some resilience and how they finish a rough season. We can do ourselves something to feel good about 
when the season wraps up, forget where we are in the race. Let's win this month, okay? Let's see where they mean a rough season. Let's see. Okay, granted, we may not make the... I don't know if we'll make the wild card or not. Let's take a look real quick and see where we are. We're seven and a half games back from the wild card, folks. There's a possibility that we could take that wild card, perhaps. Maybe. Maybe we could take that wild card. It just depends. This team has really got to buckle down and win these next few games before the series ends. We got we got to play against the Braves for three. We got to play again against the Mets. That'll be at home. Then we play against the Phillies. Then we play against the Cardinals and then the Phillies again. I don't know, folks. We're going to... This, this is this could be this could be a uh, possible road to the postseason. There's still hope. If you're new, scratch the claw marks at the bottom right hand corner screen. Sniff it by you that bell icon. Become part of the notification squad. Do not forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. Remember, always stay hungry, hungry like the wolf. I am out.